And we've got some signing news. Daniel Saifidi is a dolphin. For a long time there, it looked like he was going to stay at the, the Knights because he wanted too much money. The Dolphins have come in and said, yes, thank you. You and I linked him to the Dolphins, being that they're losing Bromwich, the other Bromwich, Kafusi's about 140. They lost, they lost Wallace. Good signing? Yeah, I, I, I like I like Daniel Saifidi. He is like he is an Origin player. Let's put it let's put it there. He didn't let anyone down in the rep arena. I think this year you kind of saw from him at about round twenty onwards that you know the talk was the talk was hampering his performances. That he was looking to leave Newcastle and that Newcastle were okay with him leaving. And I think you know he's got a twin brother who plays there, right? So that's got to be pretty hard because. He's grown up with this guy. He's played every single rep team with this guy. He's made his first grade debut in the same team as this guy. They both played Origin together, and now they're going to play against each other. That was probably really hard for Daniel to, to come for. And and then he, you know, everyone thought that he was going to go to the Dragons, and there was the rumor that he had the medical midweek when they had the buy. And then all of a sudden, the Dragons pulled the offer on that because they thought they were going to get Regan Campbell Gillard. So then he meets with the Dolphins, and then the Dolphins tell him that he wants too much money. And it's not on Daniel Saifidi to drop his wage demands because that's what he's on at Newcastle. So then it became, obviously what's happened is Saifidi has gone to Newcastle and said, I want to go and play there. You want me off your books. You need to make a deal with them on how much you're going to chip in to my wages for the remainder of my contract. And a deal has been done. But that's not the only player that the Dragons have picked up as well because um, they picked up a Fano brother. They had they split two sets of twins up this week. Yes. I, I yeah, like they, it, was, it was Max. Max they picked up, right? Yeah, I like both these signs. I think Daniel Sofidi starts for them. I think Fina, yeah. he, he's not. He's, he's there. He, he's there for a shot. But I think getting him and his brother separated is a good thing because they felt yeah. like, look, I couldn't tell them apart. You could show me two pictures. I, I couldn't tell you who's who. Cronulla or Boss, both of them. That's sort of the joke we tell. But th this kid had, had a wow of a flag career. He played really well in New South Wales Cup. Probably couldn't make the jump. Because the feeling was like one of the brothers is going to make it. Which one is it going to be? And they were competing for the same spot. I, I think this is a good move for the Dolphins. It, it's a, like both are good signings because there's zero risk. You got Daniel Saifidi. You know what you're going to get. And you get this young kid. Now if it doesn't work out, who cares? I think they've done good business here. Mm. And it's I think the uh, I think the Dolphins have picked up some sensational players. Uh, one very good starting front row. One depth piece. Sorry, my phone is blowing up from these Daily M Awards. Ah, maybe we shouldn't have recorded tonight. <laughs>